Hello friends. In this video, we will write a program in the assembly language of A051 microcontroller to check the parity of a number, that whether the parity is even or odd. By parity, we mean that whenever the number is represented in binary format, that is in the form of zeros and ones, then how many number of ones are present in that number? If number of ones present is even, then the number will have even parity. If the number of ones present in the number is odd, then the number will have odd parity. So let's start with our program. <music> program statement for this We have to write an assembly language program of A051 means using the instructions of the A051 microcontroller we have to write the assembly language program for checking the parity of a number whether it is an odd parity or even parity. It is given to us that the number is an 8 bit number and if the parity is found out to be even then we have to display 0 0 in the result and if the parity of the number is found to be odd, then we have to display 0, 1 in the result. So when we will see that in the result we have got 0, 0, it means that number is having even parity. And if we see that in the result we are having 0, 1, then we will get to know that number is having the odd parity. So Let's see that how we will check that whether the number is having the even parity or the odd parity. Now what do you mean by the parity? Parity means that whenever the number is represented in the binary format, in binary format only 0 and 1 is used, okay? Suppose that we are having a number 24. Now 24 will be represented as this okay now in this number if we count that how many one are present in this number then we will see that number of ones is one two two so it is having even parity suppose that we are having another number 34 in 34 we will get 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Number of 1s is 3. So it is having odd parity. If the number of 1s is coming out to be even, then even parity. If number of 1s is coming out to be odd, then odd parity. So how we will check this in our program? Let's see this. Our first step will be number is already given to us. So number is given. Then we will count the number of ones given in that number. How we will count? So, when number is already there with us, we are going to rotate the contents of the number bit by bit along with the carry. Now, we know that every number is represented in the form of 8 bits. There are 8 bits in the number. You can see here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 bits are there. Okay. So, and it is already given to us in the question that the number is an 8 bit number. Now, 
if these bits are rotated when we rotate these bits suppose that we are using the same number 0010 and 0100 this bit will be shifted along with carry we have to rotate so this bit will come in the carry flag if we will be able to check that if the carry is set or reset there will be two conditions set means it is 1 and reset means it is 0 now when this bit is shifted in carry flag it will be reset reset means that this that bit is 0 bit now we are counting the number of ones present in the system we have initialized this value as 0 0 that initially the number of ones is 0 now if first bit is 0 it will not be incremented second bit will be shifted again it will not be incremented third bit will be shifted now third bit is going to set the carry flag now whenever carry flag is set then number of ones will be incremented by one it will now become zero one okay now next bit will be shifted no carry generated next bit no carry generated next bit carry is generated again it will be incremented by one so now it will become zero two okay so in this way we will be able to find out that how many number of ones are present in the system by checking the carry flag and rotating the contents of the number bit by bit we have to rotate the number now after that we have got that the number of ones we have already got here then we are going to add this value with the 0 1 h okay so 0 2 will be like 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 now when it is ended with 0 1 0 0 0 0 again 0 0 0 1 when we are ending it then all the contents will become 0 0 okay so at that time if the number isn't having even parity then zero flag will be set because the result we are getting here is zero so in this case when the number of ones present is an even means the number is having even parity when we are ending it with the zero one value result is coming out to be zero and zero flag is reset now suppose that instead of 2 we are getting the number of ones as 3 so in that case 3 will be represented as 0 3 so, so 0 0 0 0 then 0 0 1 1 that is 0 3 if it is ended with 0 1 so we will always get 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 okay so the result is not zero zero flag will not be set so when zero flag is not set okay then the number isn't having the odd parity okay so in here the zero flag is set here zero flag is not set this is the case in it so in this way we can find out that whether the number is having the even parity or the odd parity okay so let's take another example 0 9 h now how 9 will be represented 0 0 0 0 then 1 0 0 1 now here number of ones is 2 it means that it is having even parity okay so even parity means that when we are ending it with the 0 1 value then it is going to generate a uh, 0 flag will be set okay
so this is the concept which we will use here to check the parity of the number okay now let's draw the flow chart for this program because with the help of flow chart we will get to know that what will be the sequence of steps how the so the, the instructions should be written and in which way the data will flow in the the direction of flow will be known to us so let's draw the flow chart now in the flow chart the first block is always the start block and this start block is shown in the oval shape after start our first step is to initialize the count because in count we are counting that how many ones are present in the number also we will or also have a counter which is to be initialized by 8 because in every number there are 8 bits okay so we will have we have to choose every 8 bit okay that how all the 8 bits we have to check that whether that bit is 0 or 1 okay so we are initializing a counter also by 8 and a count value as 0 which is going to count the number of ones present in the number after that we will get the number after getting the number that number will be in the accumulator so we will rotate the accumulator along with carry so that it bit it will go into the carry flag after that we will check that is carry equals to 1 means whether the carry is generated or not if carry is generated it means that the bit is 1 so at that time we have to increment the count which is counting the number of ones now one bit we have already checked here okay so counter which is initialized by 8 value because one bit is already checked now remaining seven bits are there so we have to decrement the counter so when carry is generated increment the count if carry is not generated then directly decrement the counter no increment in the count will be done so is carry equals to one if yes then increment if no then no increment directly decrement the counter after that we will check that whether the counter which is initialized by this 8 value is 0 or not it means that all the 8 bits they are being checked or not if it is being checked if not checked then repeat the process rotate the accumulator check whether the carry is generated or not increment the count and decrement the counter until and unless the counter has become zero and all the bits are being checked now when counter has become zero we have got the result that the number of ones present in the number that uh, we have got in the count value so now we are going to and 0 1 to check the parity so the counter value which we are getting and it with 0 1 to check the parity that whether the parity is even or not now if we are having even parity if even then accumulator will have 0 0 if or then accumulator will have 0 1 h okay 
and after that we will store the result and then end of the program and that is shown in flowchart by the stop again in the oval shape so this is the steps which are to be followed in the program and with the help of these steps now we will write the instructions because just these blocks are to be replaced by the instructions so we have got to know that in which sequence the instructions are to be written in which sequence which sequence is to be followed how the program will run so now replace all the blocks with the respective instructions Now in the flowchart, our first step is to initialize the count and the counter by the 8 bits. So first step will be we have to get the number because when number is given to us, then only we can check its parity. So we are letting that the number is 9 okay zero nine so this number is shifted into the accumulator now because we are providing the immediate data into the instruction that is why we have used this sign asterisk and this sign represents that this is the immediate data and this is to be shifted into the accumulator so accumulator will got the number zero nine now zero nine is represented in binary format Zero 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 for nine we will have one zero zero one. So these are the eight bits of this accumulator. After that we are using a register R two because there are eight bits. So we will initialize it with eight because we have to check all the eight bits. Now. Because these numbers are to be represented in the hexadecimal notation, that is why H is written after it. Okay. Now, so now the B register, because in B register we are using H to find out that how many number of ones are present in the system, in this number. So we will initialize it with 00. zero. Okay, so wherever any number of one is coming, then we will increment this register. So with the help of it, we will get to know that how many ones are present in the number. Now, next step in the flowchart was to rotate the accumulator along with the carry. So we will be using for the rotation instruction RRCA. That is rotate accumulator right through carry. Well, uh, the accumulator so the contents of accumulator they will be shifted to the right side and every bit will be coming into the carry flag okay now we will check that whether the carry flag is set or reset set means it is one and reset means it is zero set means carry is generated and reset means carry is not generated so for this we will use the jump instruction jnc that when carry is not generated it means that not generated means that it is reset the bit is zero bit so we just want to count the number of ones so there is no need to increment this b register just skip that step and if carry is generated then increment the b register so when carry is not generated then jump to some other location if carry is not generated then next step will be to increment the b register so here we will write jnc skip okay skip will be some memory location where it has to jump here only we have given a label to it now after incrementing the b then we will because first bit is already shifted now second bit is to be shifted here okay so the counter which is counting the number of bits eight that is to be decremented Now when it is decremented, then after that we will use a compare instruction. That 
compare that whether this r2 after decrementing it has become equal to 0 0 value or not that means here we can also check that whether it has become equal to means to replace all these we can check that whether d j n z means decrement and jump when it is not equal to zero this instruction can also be used here but instead of that we are using two instruction first is to decrement the r2 and then compare and jump if it is not equal to the zero zero value okay if it is equal to zero zero value it means that all the eight bits are being checked just you have to store that number of ones which is present in the b register if it is not zero then you have to repeat the process so back is the memory location where it has to jump where it has to repeat the process so back is written here at rrc again rotate the contents of the accumulator again check that whether carry is generated or not if carry is not generated then skip to this step come to this step directly decrement the r2 if carry is generated then increment the register b okay so this is c j n e compare and jump if it is not equal to after that when all the bits are being checked so b is carrying the number of ones present in the number so we will move this number of ones into the accumulator okay now we will and the contents of accumulator with the immediate data 01 h because our next step in the flow chart was to add and the contents with the 01 to check the parity if after ending the contents of the accumulator with 01 if we are getting that zero flag is set or not we have to check so we will use the instruction related with the zero flag jump on no zero to next position and if zero flag is generated means zero flag is set all the contents has become zero it means that it is having the even parity so move into the accumulator 0 0 h and if the parity is the zero flag is not set means no zero flag is set then move to a 0 1 h now if in between these two instruction if we are not writing any of the middle instruction then what it will do first it will move 0 0 after that it will move 0 1 but in between two we have to end the program now if we write end here then this instruction will not be executed if we write so what we will do here we will use a jump instruction that jump on e n d d and ENDD is a label given to the end instruction. So when even parity is being found out, then it will jump to the ENDD label and end the program. It will not execute the middle instruction. If the here, if zero flag is set, means no zero flag is set then it will jump to next condition this instruction will not be executed so in this way both the conditions that when even parity is there then zero zero will be displayed if odd parity is there then zero one will be displayed okay so by getting this display or by checking the contents of the accumulator we will get to know that whether it is having even parity or the odd parity so let's revise this program let's see it again that how we are checking the parity first we are moving the number into the accumulator then because there are eight bits of the number so we are initializing a counter by the value eight 
because we want to count the number of ones to check the parity so we have used a register b and initialize it as 00, 0 so that we can count the number of ones in it then to check the parity we are rotating the contents of the accumulator along with the carry and rotating it to the right hand side then we are checking whether the carry flag is generated or not when no carry flag is generated it means that that bit of number is zero okay so just you have to decrement the r2 that first bit is already being checked now check the second bit there is no need of incrementing the b register because b register is only counting the number of ones and that is to be incremented whenever carry is generated so when carry is generated it is going to jump to next instruction when no carry is generated it will jump to skip position after that we will compare that this r2 is equal to 0 0 or not if it is not equal then it is going to jump back and repeat the process if it is 0 then it will move to next instruction in the next instruction when all the bits are being checked then the number of ones which is present in the b register that will come to in the a register now this a register will be ended with the immediate data 0 1 now when they are ended up then if the number is having an even parity then the result will be 0 if the number is having an odd parity then the result will not be 0 so next step will be to check the 0 flag if no 0 uh, flag is set then it will jump to the next position it means that number is having the odd parity if the answer is 0 it means that the number is having the even parity and 0 0 will be displayed so this is the program in the assembly language of using the instructions of 8051 microcontroller all the instructions are from the instruction set of 8051 okay and using those instructions we have written this program to check the parity of the number whether it is even or odd if the number of ones present in the number is even then the number will have even parity if the number of ones present in the number is odd then the number will have odd parity so i hope that this program is now clear to you thank you